Hi everybody. Today we're going to talk a little bit about gripping patterns um, because this is a question we get a lot uh, within the clinic where people are saying, you know, I feel like I tighten a lot of my stomach or my butt or my pelvic floor or my shoulders. What does that mean in reference to pain? So there's a lot of reasons that the gripping patterns happen. Okay, so definitely they're going to happen if we have pain. The other reasons they might happen is just responses to postural corrections. So if your parents always told you, hey, sit up straight, and you always kind of go into this arching position, and that's what you've always perceived as straight, we don't realize that's kind of a gripping pattern at the same time. And then also they can kick in with result, resultant of like stress and stress patterns. So if you're working and something comes in that's really stressful, you might find all of a sudden you're starting to kind of come up in your neck or tighten your stomach, and those over time can give us like back pain, neck pain, things like that. So the key is again, postural situations so we can put ourselves in the best optimal position to minimize the need to do those gripping patterns. So a lot of us, and we've talked about this in prior emails, that you know we'll tend to sit in this 90-90 position. So I'm taller, so I have to kind of hold my stomach in in this position where I'm at this 90-90 position, okay? And what happens is, we all get used to kind of sitting on our sits bones, which are these, these bones right here. And so right now, I'm pretty much sitting on the very top of them. And as you can see, they've got like a round curvature to them. So what happens is when I'm sitting on the top of them and they're round, I have to hold my stomach uh, in tight in order to be able to kind of hold my position there. The moment I relax my stomach, I go back. Well, we all know like, hey, I don't want to sit like this, this is slashed. So then we're constantly kind of rolling back and forth when we're sitting at this 90-90 position, then over time that creates a lot more discomfort in our lower back because we're moving too much from here. So instead, we've talked about the importance of getting your chair a little bit higher, okay? So the hips have to be higher than the knees and it could be even higher than this. It's all personal preference, but the goal is that you feel a little bit of weight into your feet and kind of feeling that now what I've done is by lifting the chair up higher, I've kind of put myself in front of these sits bones. So I've sort of angled myself ever so slightly. And then once I get here, I take a nice deep breath in and I exhale. And that just allows me to kind of relax my stomach. If I'm in the right position and I'm in front of those sits bones, as soon as I relax everything, notice how I don't go anywhere. And that's the key. That's how you know you're sitting in the best optimal position is we don't go anywhere, all right? Versus if I'm down here and I'm in this position, and as soon as I let go of my stomach, I fall backwards. So I don't have any stability there. So by bringing that chair up higher, I'm gonna angle myself a little bit in front, take a deep breath in, exhale, allow that chest to settle onto that belly and it's gonna feel a little weird at first. Okay, you're gonna feel like, no, I wanna tighten, I wanna grip. But if we're in a good alignment, we don't need to grip. And without doing the gripping, your back's gonna thank you, your neck's gonna thank you, the pelvic floor is gonna thank you, and you're gonna feel better. Then once we release those gripping patterns, we then can kind of build the muscles up the right way without setting some other symptoms off. So enjoy your new uh, trial period without doing as much gripping and let us know how it goes. Thanks guys.